Hey guys, it's Harry the Red Bagnall Engine here and welcome back to another review video and today we are going to be doing a review on the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Yep, that is what we are going to be reviewing today. Now, just before I get into this review, I would just like to say to any of you who don't like the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, I respect your opinion, but as long as you respect mine in return. But without further ado, let's get right into it, shall we? So, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Wow, this movie was pretty good actually. Yeah, I know, I really really enjoyed the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, and I'm going to explain right now what I like about it. One thing that I really, really liked about the Five Nights at Freddy's movie was actually the story. Basically, in the movie, we learn that Mike, the security guard, who's also the security guard in the first game, by the way, gets a new job of working at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, which was a place that was popular in the 80s but closed down due to some missing kids. And I personally think that the movie followed that story plot really, really well. Another thing that I think the movie did well too, was actually the designs of the characters. I mean, just look at the designs of Freddy, Bonnie, Chica and Foxy. They're so accurate to the games. Like, so, so accurate. And also, I thought what they did with them in the movie was pretty good as well. I did, I especially loved how Freddy, Bonnie, Chica and Foxy were all being friendly towards, I think it was Abby her name was, and I, but then I loved that towards the end, they went evil because they were being controlled by William Afton. Speaking of William Afton, I also love how at the end of the movie, how he actually got defeated. I actually thought that was pretty good, honestly, in my opinion. But while I really, really liked the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, I do have just a couple of problems with it, which I'm going to go over right now. My first problem with the Five Nights at Freddy's movie was, honestly, the lack of jump scares. Yeah, when I went to see this movie, I was kind of hoping that there was going to be a lot of jump scares in it, but I was rather disappointed to see that the only really the only real jump scares that we got were sort of by Balloon Boy and Cupcake, but. I was really, really hoping for jump scares from all the characters. I don't know, guys. It, this kind of just, in my opinion, let the movie down a little bit. But that's just my opinion. Another thing that I found really, really strange and kind of odd was the character's yellow eyes. Like, what was with the yellow eyes in this movie? That was something that was never in the games. And it kind of got a little bit distracting at times. I don't know guys, it just seemed really weird. But apart from those two nitpicks, I still really enjoyed the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. And I'm going to give it uh, an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I'm not going to go any higher than 8, of a, than, eight than eight out of 10. Because if there had been more jump scares in this, then this movie would have been much higher on the list. Alright then guys, that brings us to the end of another review video. Sorry if this one was really really short, I just didn't have a lot to say about the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, despite really really enjoying it. But aside from that, if you guys enjoyed this review video, then hit that like button down below, and if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell, where you will receive all notifications. But for now, this is Harry, the Red Bagnell Engine, signing off. Peace out everyone, peace out.